for Student Press Freedom Day, we were asked to consider um, some situations or issues that we've noticed with um, student press. And one of the questions that really struck me is um, just asking when I have noticed opposition to um, our student press. And as um, the web editor for the Daily Universe, I find myself in a unique position a lot of times. Um, I get to see how people react to a lot of our articles. So um, I do see a lot of people with negative reactions to certain articles. Um, for example, we had recently posted an article um, involving women's issues and a lot of people were upset that um, as a um, church affiliated school that we chose to write about a feminist issue and I, reading those comments, I was really struck by just the difference of opinion out there. Um, not everyone is going to have the same thoughts or political perspectives and I just think that makes it all the more important that as student journalists and um, just as people in general that you share your opinion and that you report on what's happening whether or not you think people are going to appreciate it or understand it that um, you just share what's out there and let people know what's going on in the world and what other people are thinking, whether or not everyone's gonna agree. In our work at the Daily Universe, I've often seen that people get upset that we cover issues or events that they disagree with. However, as journalists, I think it's so important that we cover everything, and we even cover things that we disagree with in a manner um, as least biased as possible so we can deliver people the full news. Yeah, well, in my work, I feel like there have been those who, even though we're just a student publication, they still don't want us putting out anything that could reflect on them negatively in any way. Um, and to me, I, I think it's, it's just as important for us to put out the truth as it is for bigger news organizations. So if we as a small student organization can't be putting out what the truth is, then how can we expect bigger organizations to be doing the same? So I have come to believe that even as there are those that would have us censor ourselves per se, that just makes it all the more important that we don't go that route. <laughs> So as a reporter, personally, I haven't faced too much opposition, but I know that my reporters, as an editor now, doing campus life um, reporting, they have. And we have to report on anything, whether it be something hard to talk about or something easy to talk about, because we shouldn't be unbiased, and we just need to get the news out there so that people know about it. I've been told by PR professionals that they won't offer interviews to student journalists, which kind of hurts because it makes it feel like that we are not professionals when we are learning how to do the work of actual journalists. So as a sports writer, sometimes it's a little bit hard to get interviews with coaches and players. Sometimes I feel like they might not have enough time for us, but I feel like it's always important to be able to um, have those interviews and to get the stories out because not only does it help the community know what's going on, but it can also um, promote these teams and these athletes and people can know more about them. As a student journalist especially, I've seen lots of different instances where I've tried to talk to a source and because I'm a student they've automatically assumed that what I'm writing is not worth their time. And that's frustrating when you're trying to tell a story and in order to tell that story you need to talk to a certain person. So I've seen opposition in that way, but if anything it's just pushed me to become more informed and more educated when I do go and talk to these people. That way I can kind of prove them wrong and they're more likely to talk to me and I can produce great stories. <laughs>